yo guys ffx here welcome back to another video um today we're gonna be talking about the am trend features profile pretty much the silver bullet profile for features for the am trend <laughs> i don't even know what i just said there but yeah that's pretty much what, what we're gonna be talking about right and this is a this is pretty much a 60 minute price range in which we look for entries or trades to execute on if that makes sense right this is like what my bread and butter forming am trend profile that i look for pretty much every single day and if it doesn't present itself then i'm not executing you know but yeah man um going straight into it right um this is pretty much how it looks um during the am trend i don't know why it keeps doing that during the AM trend, right, we look to see price violate the previous day New York high. The previous day New York high, meaning the, the session, right? Or, in simple details, we look to see price violate between the price range of 8 a.m. New York time to 4 o'clock. In other words, 4 p.m. New York time, right? We look for price to sweep its buy side, the most highest high of that price range fluctuation if that makes any sense during the am trend right and then we look to see price draw lower in price creating some form of displacement and displacement is breaking a short-term low something like this right so we look to see price drop lower breaking a short-term low and then retracing back into price specifically a favorably get presented on the current time frame if that makes any sense right and all this needs to be happening within the am trend and our executions will be only taken within the silver bullet range right um that's pretty much how i utilize it when trading this ict profile right um going straight into it right um this is pretty much the one hour time frame right and by the way guys i just read we moved all external details like noise that's why you can only see like the candlesticks and all that right and the background is white just for everything to be neat and clean you know but yeah so on the one hour time frame we've got the previous day new york high right price swept it meaning that it swept all by stops above this high right here during the am trend meaning that from 9 30 a.m new york time price managed to draw high in price passing through the previous day high right so when this happens on the one hour we scale down to lower time frame specifically the 15 minute time frame and we look for some form of a retracement or price reversal which may drop back into lower prices right in simple terms this is how the chart looks on the 15 minute right price sweeps the previous day high this is pretty much the same right one hour 15 minute right and it does that all it does that during the am trend right so as soon as price violates the previous day high we look for some form of displacement and displacement is when price sweeps a short term low or short term high but if we perish a short term low right and then it leaves a gap like this this is a favorite gap which pretty much looks like this right and a favorite gap is when price fails to or it's when price leaves an imbalance range and that's identified when the first week and the last week this week's high and this week's low fail to violate each other meaning that they leave this right and I'm providing this pretty much this profile with the understandings that you know the basics, right? Like favorite gaps and all that, right? So in simple terms, now as soon as price creates this favorite gap, right? We mark out its high, its low, and its 50% range, which is the consequent encroachment level, right? And we'll to see price draw back into this favorite gap range to drive price lower. But where within this price range do you want to see price go, right? Because price can pretty much react anywhere within this favorite gap, right? But if you want to be more precise, 
about where price is going or where is it going to react within this favorably gap we scale down into a lower time frame right here we're on the five minute this is the 15 five same favorably gap just different time frames right this is the buy side sweep displacement this is the 15 million this is the 15 minute time frame for video gap right this is the high the cost of content encroachment and the low right so like now within this 15 minute favorably gap range right we're going to be looking to identify a lower time frame for video gap in which price is specifically drawing to if that makes any sense right and pretty much within this range from this high to this low on the 15 minute time frame on the five minute time frame we have this favorably gap which is within this 15 minute favorably gap right so this is where we're looking to see price react off right and we do the same thing we identify it's high it's low and it's consequent encroachment level it's 50 percent range right so like now here is the specifics when price does this right we look to see price reach higher in price to reach or we want to see price tap pretty much the consequent encroachment level the 50 percent range and then draw lower right so therefore if you are trading on the 15 minute time frame in simple terms as soon as price go drops back into this favorably gap range meaning that your entry would be pretty much here or here it just depends on which one you're more comfortable with but your stop would be higher right if you're in the five minutes your execution would either be the five minute favorably gap low or the 50 percent range and then your stop loss would be higher preferably still this high or this high because price would potentially draw into this favorably gap but like the lower you go in time frame while still staying clean right without any distractions you tend to see indications in which price tells you that it's respecting the specific favorably gaps and whatnot if that makes sense pretty much the main reason why price would respect this five minute favorably gap is because it's within the 15 minute favorably gap range if that makes any sense right so as soon as price reaches the consequent consequence encroachment level of the five minute favorably gap we ensure that it's within the silver bullet time zone or time frame which is from the it's from 10 a.m to 11 a.m right this is where we look to take our executions now scaling down from the five minutes we go into the one minute and this is pretty much how we should look five minutes consequent encroachment favorite gap high favorite gap low for me personally i regard anything above the consequent encroachment to the high as a premium zone right so as soon as price hits it there i'm expecting some form of indications that price is willing to draw price lower right it can react anywhere within this zone and price should pretty much provide me with some indications that price is willing to go lower so yeah um scaling down into the one minute time frame this premium zone favorably gap cb sell side imbalance buy side insufficient is this high it's the five minute premium zone five minute favorably gap premium zone just cleaner you know and we look for pretty much the same thing and um, we're looking for the 2022 mentorship model right which is price breaking a high sweeping it as you can see this week managed to sweep this buy side right above here it managed to hit the 50 percent level of the five minute favorably gap it dropped lower closing below displacement this candlestick closed below displacement then it leaves this favorably gap right here this is our one minute favorably gap right so this is pretty much our executions to see price draw lower right so when price closes below this displacement would set up would set our sell stops to be within this favorably gap low or its consequent encroachment and then you'd place your stop pretty much on the price range high from this low to this high this high but if you want to be systematic and more flexible with your stop you'd place it on the five minute time frame for video gap high which is this high right here 
So execution would be somewhere here, your high would be right here, and then your draw on liquidity would be this low right here. Right? So pretty much your outcomes would be something like this. And bearing in mind if you manage to miss this whole Fevili gap entry right here, as price draws lower, I'm still regarding as I'll still regard this ranges as displacement. So price breaks this low, right? It drops lower. There's an auto block right here. Price goes above. It taps its wick. But this is gonna be like a preference thing, right? So when price reaches this auto block, you can either execute based on its low or its body. But personally, I tend to prefer the body, so I wouldn't execute here. If you don't execute based on auto blocks, we have this Fivili gap right here, just right above this auto block. This could have been an additional entry driving price lower, right? We have a displacement here, Fivili gap. As soon as price is drawing back up above here, this would, this would be our, our execution lower, pretty much until price reaches sell side, if that makes any sense. So I hope you guys found this enlightful and um, if this was helpful, um, please be sure to leave a comment on the comment section and um, if you need any help or any form of guidance or if I confused you some way, please show to hit me up. Be sure to hit me up on Twitter, Instagram or within the comment section and hope everybody stays safe.